Now, read along with me as I read the directions for Part C. Remember, you should not read ahead or turn the pages while the directions for this part are being read. Part C. Directions. In this part of the test, you will hear several talks. After each talk, you will hear some questions. The talks and questions will not be repeated. After you hear a question, read the four possible answers in your test book and choose the best answer. Then, on your answer sheet, find the number of the question and fill in the space that corresponds to the letter of the answer you have chosen. Here is an example. On the recording, you will hear, Listen to an instructor talk to his class about painting. Artist Grant Wood was a guiding force in the school of painting known as American Regionalist, a style reflecting the distinctive characteristics of art from rural areas of the United States. Wood began drawing animals on the family farm at the age of three. And when he was 38, one of his paintings received a remarkable amount of public notice and acclaim. This painting, called American Gothic, is a starkly simple depiction of a serious couple staring directly out at the viewer. Now listen to a sample question. What style of painting is known as American Regionalist? In your test book, you will read A. Art from America's Inner Cities B. Art from the Central Region of the U.S. C. Art from various urban areas in the U.S. D. Art from rural sections of America The best answer to the question what style of painting is known as American Regionalist is D, art from rural sections of America. Therefore, the correct choice is D. Now listen to another sample question. What is the name of Wood's most successful painting? In your test book, you will read A, American Regionalist. B. The Family Farm in Iowa C. American Gothic D. A Serious Couple The best answer to the question, What is the name of Wood's most successful painting? is C. American Gothic Therefore, the correct choice is C. Remember, you are not allowed to take notes or write in your test book. Now we will begin Part C with the first talk. Questions 39 through 42. Listen to a welcome address by a member of a club. Welcome to this introductory meeting for new members of the Sierra Club. The Sierra Club is an organization whose goals are centered on the protection of the environment. It was founded in 1892 in San Francisco by naturalist John Muir, who is intent on preserving the natural beauty and harmony of the Sierra Nevadas in Eastern California. Today, the Sierra Club boasts almost 200,000 members in all 50 states of the United States. Through activities such as conferences, lectures, exhibits, and films, the organization works to continue the effort begun by John Muir. The Sierra Club also publishes a weekly newsletter, a bi-monthly magazine, and various books. Number 39. What is the main objective of the Sierra Club? Number 40. Approximately how long has the Sierra Club been in existence?
Number 41. What area was John Muir especially interested in saving? Number 42. Where does the Sierra Club have members? Questions 43 through 46. Listen to a talk by a university employee. The next stop on our campus tour for new freshmen is the university sports complex. This university has extensive sports facilities and is dedicated to providing maximum student access to these facilities. On the right, you can see the university stadium, which is used for football and soccer, as well as track and field. The gymnasium straight ahead contains the arena that is used for basketball and gymnastics. The gymnasium also includes an up-to-date exercise room with a large variety of the latest equipment. The exercise room is open to any student with valid student ID, not just members of athletic teams. The pool complex is behind the gymnasium, and that is also open for general student use, except when the swim team, the diving team, or the water polo team is practicing. To the left, you can see the tennis courts and outdoor volleyball courts. It is possible to take instruction classes in these sports, or you're welcome to sign up for court time at the athletic department office if you just want to play with some of your friends. These are just some of the sports facilities that are available to you here. But I think you can see that this university makes an effort to provide the best opportunity for its students to take part in sports. Now, let's continue on to the Art Center. Number 43. Who is probably listening to this talk? Number 44. What is needed to get into the exercise room? Number 45. Where should a student go to reserve a tennis court? Number 46. What will the students probably do next? Questions 47 through 50. Listen to a talk given by a professor. Today's lecture is on the difference between the two literary styles of realism and naturalism. These two styles have in common a faithfulness to actual experience and a mistrust of idealism. Although they do have several similarities, realism and naturalism should be clearly differentiated. The realist objectively reports on events with the accuracy of the description as the prime motive. The naturalist, on the other hand, has more of a philosophic bent. Naturalist writings express the writer's philosophy that human actions are determined by natural laws, such as heredity and environment. Number 47. This talk would probably be given in which of the following courses? Number 48. 
What point is the speaker trying to make about realism and naturalism?